late morning on Saturday, fires were burning across the state. Whereabouts are you, King Lake? Oh, King Lake. Yeah. It's just black like a storm cloud, and it's just completely blocked out the sun. Flame everywhere. Trees exploding, gas tanks exploding, buildings on fire. Uh, it's very, very, very serious. Most of the town's going up. There will be multiple houses gone, um, including mine. 173 people were killed. Kevin and I went out to Whittlesea and uh, a lot of people had come down the mountain and were still in a terrible state of shock. Um, I remember one man uh, standing there really not knowing what had happened to him. How everything was wet was gone. And then for the next, um, I can't remember how many days, uh, we would go in and out to different parts of um, the bushfire affected communities. So I saw it day after day. He met a mother whose husband had uh, been killed and um, she had a little boy and just the way he was with them was so lovely but as it turned out sometime later uh, without anybody knowing I didn't find out till even after the event uh, he'd been off to see this mother and the little boy just to offer comfort. We are shaped um, by our circumstances and by the people who was brought us up. <clears throat> uh, my mother was a woman of natural compassion and she could not um, walk by somebody uh, in need without extending not just a kind word but doing something about it. And so you can't grow up in that sort of environment, particularly as she became my sole parent, <clears throat> and not be affected by it. And. Um, there's a great line, you know, in the history of Australia by Manning Clark, where he described uh, Deacon, perhaps pejoratively, uh, as a man with a woman's heart. So how do you put those two things together? You know, this reputation that he has for being hard on people and careless of their feelings and their lives, and that person you saw there. People are complex. <laughs> <laughs> 